Hey y'all, welcome back to Meech and Monica. So as promised, here is the Thanksgiving prep video. Now, I will tell you guys, I did miss recording a few of the sides that I made, but I was just trying to get everything finished before our guests arrived. And I may have missed telling you guys some things. I'll try to, if I remember, say it in this voiceover. But if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comment section. And I will try my best to answer those for you. So let's get into this video. I'm starting with the potato salad first. I like to cut my potatoes in different sizes because some of them I like mashed and then some of them you want to actually keep their shape so it's like you're not eating mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean those and then we are going to cook the potatoes. I did not time my potatoes, I just kind of check them. And then when they are fork tender and it's not any type of pushback, then I know they're ready. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and make my cornbread. I already know this is the great debate about the Jiffy Mix, but I don't have a problem using the Jiffy Mix. And I know some people says that they don't like the sweetness, but to me, once you add in all of your onions, bell pepper, celery, along with all of the seasonings that you're gonna add, it just kind of balances the, the flavors out to me. But you are more than welcome to make homemade cornbread with this recipe as well. I also want to let you guys know that I add buttermilk instead of milk. And to me, it is a game changer. Next, I'm going to just melt some butter down and add that to my cornbread mixture as well. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Trinity mix, which is just onions, bell peppers, and celery and you can also feel free to cut those up you know as well but i just purchased these from Publix Now back to our potatoes. I just like to go in maybe every five minutes and kind of move those potatoes around so they will cook evenly.
I'm going to go in and check my potatoes. They should be ready now. And they are ready. So this is how I like for my potatoes, the texture to be. And so now what I'm going to do is usually I would cool these and then put uh, saute my onions, bell pepper, and celery. So I had the idea this time to add them while my potatoes were still hot and it actually softened those vegetables. And then I placed them into the refrigerator and then I would go in and just move those potatoes around to allow them to cool faster. And then once my potatoes are all um, cooled off, I go in with the rest of my ingredients. Now I'm going to go in with my mayo. I also use sweet relish and y'all I do not measure so I am sorry about the measurements. I do not have the measurements. Some people like their potato salad on the I guess kind of soupy side but I don't. Um, I guess it just depends on the consistency that, that you like your mayo. I do not I mean mayo, look at me mayo, potato salad. I do not add mustard to mine or eggs, but you can feel free to do that. Um, if I do add eggs, it's just as a garnish. And then, you know, of course, you can take your egg and put it into your potato salad. But I also add salt, pepper, and I add a small amount of sugar. And to me, it just kind of balances out everything and it takes away the tartness of the potato salad. I also forgot to show you the cornbread when it came out of the oven, but if you just kind of look to the right, you can see the cornbread, and we will move into making that after I finish with this potato salad. So I do want to tell you that after I finish the potato salad, I usually garnish with parsley. I forgot to put the paprika on it, but you can garnish it with parsley, paprika, or however you want to garnish it. And I do make it like the day before that way those flavors will have time to kind of marinate. We're now going to get started on our macaroni and cheese. I have butter in my bowl. That way, once my macaroni comes out, it's hot, so it will melt the butter. And these are the cheeses that I like to use. I do want to tell you, I boil my noodles for 10 minutes. My son was home from college, so of course, him and Mexipu hung out, I think, the entire night. He just loved him some Max. <laughs> Can y'all see he's sleeping and walking around with Max? <laughs> my 
my wonderful husband came in the kitchen to help me so he is shredding all of the cheese i do want to say the reason that i like to shred my cheese is because it melts better when you have the pre-shredded cheese it has like a protective coat so the cheese don't stick so i feel like it doesn't melt as good it still melts and you know your macaroni will still be good but i just prefer to use to use the a shredded freshly shredded and as you can see jamon is in the kitchen trying to eat as usual <laughs> so i have this small box of velveta that i'm going to add as well and i only only add a small amount because i just use it for the creaminess um just to add that creaminess to the macaroni and cheese and as you can see i added the parmesan now to me this is the game changer the parmesan cheese so if you make macaroni you must add the parmesan to it so this time i decided to add a egg to the milk to me it didn't make that much of a difference so i probably will still just kind of do it the same way which is add the milk and without the egg but like I said if you want to try it out and see if your the texture of your macaroni and cheese change if it changes the texture you can but I didn't see a huge difference so like I said it's basically like a personal preference it's cold outside but the fire keeps us warm we can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me The snow is falling down And the storm is on its way But as long as you're around Everything will be okay Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I also add salt, pepper, and I do add a small amount of sugar. And I know a lot of people say, why would you add sugar? But you have a lot of tartness from the different cheeses, especially the Parmesan cheese is very tart. So I add just a small amount of sugar just to kind of take that tartness away and i have some black peppercorns some mixed peppercorns and i like to add those who else likes to see their pepper like i have to see the pepper in the macaroni and cheese add cheese on the top but i did not show that because this was the night before thanksgiving and i always bake my macaroni and cheese as well as the dressing the morning of thanksgiving now we're gonna start on our dressing i'm just going in breaking up 
the cornbread and then I'm going to add my remaining ingredients, which is the pepperidge form. I like to use the herb pepperidge form and uh, sage poultry seasoning. I'm going to go in with some salt, pepper, and seasoned salt. forgot to also let you guys know that I use chicken broth as well as cream of chicken soup. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. Winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Take me away, Christmas Day. There's joy in the air, families near. We give thanks for this past year. Oh, nothing compares. To the love that we share Oh, what a bliss A green red delight With glimmering silver white You dazzle us all From big to small I also allow my dressing to sit for about 30 minutes and then I will go back and taste it just to give those flavors time to kind of, you know, marinate and get in there because you don't want to continue to season and over season your dressing. So I would say let it sit for about 30 minutes, go back, give it a taste test. And if you need to add more seasonings, then you can do that. Now my husband is going to start peeling and cutting the sweet potatoes for me. And I also want to let you guys know that this recipe idea, I, who did I watch? Stove Top Kisses. So she has the exact measurements. I really didn't go by the measurements. It just was like the way that she cooked the yams. But I am only going to add a small amount of water just enough really to coat the bottom of the pan you don't want to add a lot of water because your sweet potatoes will produce water and then i'm just going to go in with my potatoes and then i'm going to add sugar uh, brown sugar you're going to add a small amount of cinnamon i add nutmeg and i also add pumpkin spice a green red delight Glimmering silver wine. I'm also just going to layer everything because I want to make sure that all of the sweet potatoes, you know, has that flavor. And then once I get everything layered, I'm going to just place my lid on halfway, allow those potatoes to cook for about, I think I did it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Like I said, y'all, I'm sorry I do not <laughs> watch the time. I just kind of know when, um, you know, when, when the yams are done. So, like I said, I'm going to allow it to cook with the lid halfway off. And then I'm going to go in, turn those. And then you will see once they are done, I'm going to add butter off. I'm going to turn the... Um, stove off I'm gonna add butter and then I'm gonna add my eggnog and I know a lot of people are like eggnog yes because if you think about it eggnog has the same spices and everything that you put into your yams and to me they give them just a very very good taste and they kind of you know what I'm saying kick the yams up a notch trust me you gotta try it with the eggnog i
wanted to go ahead and let you guys know in this next clip i forgot to show what i did with these are the cabbage i basically add the onions bell peppers sausage and then i add the cabbage along with just a small amount of chicken broth now i'm going to get started on my glaze for the ham that is pineapple juice cherry juice and brown sugar Chilling and having a good, good time Once my ham is done, well, I guess maybe once it has about 10 minutes of cook time left, I go in and I like to take that glaze and just put it all in between the ham and as well as on the outside. And then I heat the remaining glaze up and just kind of melt that sugar down. And so if someone wants to dip their ham or just kind of pour that glaze over their ham, they can do that as well. I know I did not show the turkey, but it really was, wasn't anything to show when it came to the turkey because it was a smoked turkey that we purchased from Costco and we really didn't do anything to it but follow the directions on the back and put it into the oven. So, and it was very good. So we would definitely purchase that turkey again next year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everybody at dinner said that they enjoyed the food. We even had a few people come back <laughs> the next day and get more food. So I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving holiday. And my husband and I will see you in the next video. Bye.